Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com here today to talk about my very favorite fork and apologies. So a second ago, Jada was like, I still don't understand. What are we doing? And then you saw this fork and you remembered. No, I saw the bend in the fork. Sorry, he saw the bend in this fork. And what's the story on the fork? I was angry one night. I don't remember why, but I was probably eating dinner and I had a fork. And little to little did I know then, forks were very malleable. So I, I just wanted to bend something. So I ended up accidentally bending the fork. And then I was like, hey, Dad, um, I bent a fork. Well, do you remember what the whole thing was about? No. Yeah, I have no idea either. It was probably something pretty inconsequential. Yep. You were being hard-headed and I was not giving in. Yep. Probably. 100% agree with that. <laughs> I have a hard one. Very and hard one. I distinctly remember later when you had had some time and you calmed down. You came in and you, one, apologized for your behavior. And two, you apologized and you were like, hey, I'm really sorry. I ended up bending this fork. I tried to bend it back. Like, I'm sorry. And... You did a terrible <laughs> job trying to bend it back. Hey, I was like seven years old. Give me a break. Uh, you are probably eight. Yeah, you were probably seven years old. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe eight. Who knew? I didn't know couple I could bend a couple years ago. Fork. Well, I, I ain't you no, can. I ain't no master at fork bending. No, you are. I mean, Not at repairing them. Yeah. But <laughs> that happened. Consequently, this has become my very favorite fork. Not because... I don't slightly know. deformed? Well, no, that's actually why it is my favorite. Uh, actually, I take that back. It's not because of the <laughs> bent. It's you mean because deformed. the story behind it, in that sometimes you and I will battle it out. And sometimes I'll tell you, I'll be like, hey, listen, like, I'm out of patience. You're going to probably do something. And you're going to make a choice you're going to later regret and have to apologize, which will lead to me behaving in a way I'll probably have to apologize for. Been there, done that. We've both been there and done that. And we both have ended up apologizing yep. for I behavior. The, the one difference, I don't think you bent a fork. Mm, I've probably done worse in my years. But consequently, this is my favorite. And to that end, do I apologize to you guys very often? Yeah. Yeah. Probably probably more than maybe I should. Yeah. I don't know. As far as like, not I shouldn't apologize those times I apologize, but I probably shouldn't put myself into a position where I apologize as much as I do. Yes. Also, sometimes you're like overloaded with work and you're apologizing because you're frustrated, but, but it's justified because we're being dum-dums. Just yeah. running around going... Rah! Like but turkeys. still, and I'll apologize because sometimes mm -hmm. I'll raise my voice and I'll stop myself and I'll apologize for raising my voice because I'm like, no, like that's not the father I want to be for you guys. And there's other times I'll raise my voice and I will not apologize for <laughs> yep. it. Yep. Because... Also been there and heard that. True story. So where does this fork and apologies, where does it kind of circle in and maybe, maybe land home for most people. So probably about two years ago, as of filming this, I want to say March, maybe, April. yeah, March 2020, I ended up doing a video as we were just getting started into COVID. And in that video, even though I try not to make like current events video, I think that one, honestly, kind of timeless. And I think I pretty much nailed it. Because while there is obviously the bent towards COVID, I think bigger picture you can take away and, yeah, you can apply it to most things. So where does it come in with this fork? Well, one of the things I talked about in that video is that, hey, you're probably going to be, over the next foreseeable future, as it turns out, about two years, put in maybe uncomfortable positions, maybe where you're fearful, and basically encouraging you to make good choices with the reminder that coming out the other side of this, like people will remember. What do I mean by that? Well, I remember this 
And even though there was initially a negative associated with it, what is it now? It's a story. It is a story. And a fork. And it's, thanks for that, Sherlock. It is a story, it is a fork, but more importantly is it is basically like, I don't know, metaphor is probably the wrong word, but it essentially tells the story of a difficult time we had that was ultimately healed over with apologies from both parties. And I think probably over the last 20 years, 20 years, over the last two years rather, of like COVID, there's been a lot of people that have behaved very poorly. And I'm not saying it's like a right or wrong thing or what side of the fence you were with respect to COVID or mass or vaccine or any of that stuff. Like that doesn't matter. But people do remember. And if you went around and you behaved poorly, made an ass of yourself, like might want to think about just apologizing. Don't have to. And if your ego will keep you from apologizing, like one, I feel bad for you, like enjoy that life. But no, might be a good thing to do. That really at the end of the day is the gist of it. A lot of things can get healed over with just an honest apology. Except forks. Except forks. They'll probably remain bent. But then you have special forks coming out the other side but hopefully this reaches maybe someone that needed to hear it and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time sorry i messed that up fine dad fork will guide you to victory it will like i said dad trust in the fork i know Sounds good. P.S. Dad. Yeah. Apologies do not heal bent forks. True. Said from experience. True.